they make it on the Las Vegas Raiders. I think they put up like 40 to 50 points in this game, and the Raiders put up yeah. less than 15. I mean, it is going to be a absolute beat down and then a stomping and then they're going to spit on them and kick them in the face. Like it is it is going to be horrible. They are, they are just going to absolutely slaughter them. They're going to call it manslaughter by the end of it. I doubt it. That was a lot of words to say that the Ravens win this one big. So, huge. Ravens win this like, one big. Huge, huge. Biggest margin of the year, I think. So, Raiders always find a a upset special oh, 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 of the year. This is coming from Wyatt Williams' mouth. And what better way to open up their Las Vegas stadium with the win over the Baltimore Ravens? That is exactly what they're going to do. Oh, the on, Ravens, or the Raiders are going to beat the Ravens week number one. Get us a week two matchup, the Kansas City Chiefs <coughs> at Baltimore. See, isn't this the third year in a row now that Kansas City and Baltimore have played in the first, like, five weeks, Buck, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Been a lot, <clears throat> Something yeah. like that. And they're always really good games. But with that being said, I got Kansas City taking this one. Kansas City's a heck of a team. They're going to be a heck of a team for a long time. Uh, and Patrick Mahomes is going to end up going down as a top three quarterback of all time. Depending on how many Super Bowls he wins, he might go down as one. He might go down as two. We'll see how all that unfolds. But with that being said, Kansas City Chiefs take the win over Baltimore in a high-scoring and a very fun game, possibly even game of the year, uh, to watch between these two teams as they duke it out. Is uh, I'm looking at the schedule and the dates. <coughs> this is a, a Saturday night game. Sunday. Two. It's a Sunday game. It is? Yeah, they don't play Saturday games until, like, Yeah, December. it's a Sunday night game. Yeah. Oh, so their first game's a Monday night game. So they yeah. open on Monday night. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I got it. Now it makes sense. Okay. All right, but anyway, I'm going to take the Chiefs. Chiefs, uh, I, I think the Chiefs are just that team. They're the cream of the crop of the AFC, and I don't think that the Ravens are are still up to task yet with the with the Kansas City Chiefs. So give me the Kansas City Chiefs big. Right, and and I come just to refresh your memory. Usually on week number one, they play those two Monday night 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 games, so that Ravens Raiders game won't be on until like eleven o'clock East Coast time to get done. I get two a.m. Absolutely stupid. Yeah. But week number two here, guys, like I said, like, I, I think can, can, Kansas City Chiefs are going to have a down year. I don't know if Patrick Mahomes is, is going to be 100% come week two. That's why I'm, I'm taking the Ravens this week uh, or, uh, for week week two and for their first is this, home game. Is this where you do this reverse psychology? I'm not going to pick my team because I want them to have a good year, but I want to no. say I had, they had a bad year. No, I I legitimately had the Chiefs going 12-5. and five. Uh, I mean, they, 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 they don't have a very fa- favorable That's schedule. So... Uh, week number three, Ravens travel to Detroit. Who do you got? Uh, another their <laughs> second beat down of the year, uh, and and I think like I said, for the biggest margin of victory uh, for the year, it'll be between this game and the Raiders, uh, and possibly even one more. But uh, <laughs> they're gonna kill Detroit. I mean, it, it is not even gonna yeah. be fair. They're gonna go to Ford Field and just wipe the floor with them. It won't be fair. I agree. Ravens in a landslide. Yeah, I'm picking the Ravens as well, even if it's at Ford. Ford Field, the Ravens are just too much yeah. for the Lions. Week number four, they're b- they're on the road to Mile High, taking on the Broncos. Why, who do you got? And this one is going to be a decently close game because it's always tough to play at Mile High. Um, so Denver is going to give them a tight game, but I still think Baltimore comes away with the win. Yeah, it's always tough to play on the road. It's especially tough to play in Denver, and it's even more tough to play in Denver when Aaron Rodgers is their starting quarterback. So I am going to go ahead and say that the Ravens do squeak this one out just barely over the Aaron Rodgers led Broncos. Yeah, and I and I'm actually taking the Denver Broncos as well, uh, just because I don't think the Broncos will be clicking on all cylinders and come yet come week four. However, I do have the Broncos being a sleeper team in the NFL this season. Yeah, once Aaron Rodgers figures out that that offensive right. scheme, it, they're going to be good. A hundred percent. So week number five, the Colts travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Why? Who do you got? Oh, stress. That's what I got. I got stress. Um, <laughs> with the Packers situation with Combs, everything. God, I don't even know what to do anymore. Anyways, um, I got Indianapolis. Indianapolis is going to have a heck of a year. Uh, once we break down their schedule, I'm really excited for that because the Colts are going to be awesome this year. They're going to be fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, the Like I said, I've said this a hundred times on this show. I was the first one to call this out, that Carson Wentz was going to Indy. And my reasoning why is the exact reason why he went there. The last time that we saw Carson Wentz in MVP form, his coach and play caller was Frank Reich. Where is Frank Reich now? Indianapolis. So why did Carson Wentz come to Indianapolis? To play with Frank Reich. This is going to be a heck of a team, and they beat the Baltimore Ravens. 
I, I agree it's going to be a heck of a team. I, I really like the uh, Indianapolis Colts. I like what they're doing there. I, I'm not sold on the Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. I think that they had a couple of better options that they they settled for Wentz. But uh, I'm going to go with the Colts in this one as well. I think that the Colts find a way to, to pull this one out. That Colts Did defense is, is too good. Yeah, I'm not for Did sure. You, I, I, what, what, Wyatt, go ahead. Did you guys see Carson Wentz go on the Pat McAfee show? It's just funny because you – Combs, whenever you said they had a couple of other options, that's who they settled for. It's funny you said that because Pat McAfee felt the same way, and he said that openly many times. And then Pat had Carson on the show, and Carson like asked him about it live on air. And it was just really funny because it was this awkward like staring <laughs> situation. Then then Pat starts laughing, and then it, it, it's just funny. You should look it up if you haven't seen it. Yeah, and yeah it, I'll check it out. It is, it is kind of awkward because how can you have better options than a top ten? quarterback in the league and uh, exactly hard Carson top Wentz. 10. but guys now you agree with them so uh, so Carson Wentz is top 10 and Andy Dalton's top 15 give me no a Andy Dalton's not top 15 but I do agree that Carson Wentz is top 10 so spoiler alert when this he's is, playing this at his best a, and are we good now yes okay I'm just making sure all right <laughs> so spoiler alert, this is a preview of the AFC championship chip 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 game and I got the Ravens winning this one but definitely not the Ravens winning the uh, AFC championship game so week six we had the Chargers coming into Baltimore Wait, did you just say that you have – that's your AFC championship? Yep. I thought you said the Ravens have a down year. I said the Chiefs. You, but you In the last segment, you said the Ravens were going to be like 6-11. and 11. Yeah. I did not. I said they have an easy-ass schedule. Yes, you did. I did not say the Ravens were going to have a down year. Oh, we're, we're you said because of back. Lamar Jackson, they're going to have a the bad year. We're going to the tape back. All right. Chargers, Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> Why God. you got Wild, man. Uh <laughs> No, Baltimore uh, gets a win at home here versus the Chargers, who are going to have an explosive and electric offense, uh, which they've had over the last couple of years. they got to find a new tight end ever since Hunter Henry left. Uh, but still, nonetheless, Baltimore comes away with a win at home. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Justin Herbert and, and the Chargers are going to have a good team. They're going to have a good season. Uh, this is going to be one of those games that's going to be a tough loss for them. And it's going to be a close one, but I think that the Ravens pull that out at home. I'm picking the Ravens as well. The Chargers are historically not very good on the road, and I think that continues into the 2021 season. We have already picked the Week 7 game here versus the Bengals. If you guys have missed that, you can check out the YouTube clip, youtube.com forward slash man hour, and click on the Bengals schedule breakdown. Watch that, and you'll get our picks for that. Week 8 is the bye week, and then Week number 9, the Minnesota Vikings come to the town to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, I think that this is kind of the game where everybody kind of scratches their head and I think Minnesota comes away with a win off of Baltimore after a bye week. Interesting. Yeah, I I I don't see that at all. I got to give me give me the Ravens here. I don't like the Vikings at all this year. I, yeah. I just, you know, I I think they are who they are at this point. So give me the Ravens. Yeah, any any team coming off a bye week, I'm giving them the favor in this nod. So I'm giving the Ravens and like in this game, and I had them going nine and one so far on the season with winning eight eight straight games in a row. Going on to week ten, where they travel to Miami to take on the Dolphins, Thursday night game. I might add, why? Who do you got? Yeah, I think they come away with a win here. They get the kind of head scratcher, weird lo loss on the last one. Every team has a weird and bad loss, and normally it comes off of a bye week um, or, or right before the bye week. I think they get theirs there, but I think they get right back on track uh, with a win at Miami. I think by this point, I think that the Dolphins are kind of kicking themselves in the butt for not going harder after Deshaun Watson yep. and trading Tua for him. I think that Tua is, is getting his butt handed to him all season long. Give me the Ravens in this one and give me the Ravens in this one. Baby. So, Combs, there is still time to get Watson because like the, 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 they keep struggling the date of June, June 1st, so maybe the Dolphins do go after Watson still. But this is a Thursday night game. The Ravens are on the road. I'm taking the Dolphins at home on this one simply because the Dolphins are the home team, and it's always hard to play in Miami because of the sea level and yeah. the humidity and the heat, especially uh, midway through the season here. So week number 11, the Ravens travel to Chicago to take on Combs' Bears. Why? Who do you got? I have got the Baltimore Ravens annihilating, <laughs> absolutely demolishing, hammer fisting to the face, knockout punching, the Chicago Bears. Wow. That is all. Thank you. All right. And I think that the Bears do what we all know that they can do, 
and that's beat a mobile quarterback. The Bears' defense always seems to play well versus mobile quarterbacks. The, they're in Chicago. Justin Fields has a great game playing up against Lamar Jackson. By this point, people are really talking about how good uh, Justin Fields is becoming, how mature he's becoming so early in the season. And uh, give me the Bears in this one. Hey, and I, I, I was just kidding, by the way. I actually do have the Bears winning. I, I, I was just trying to get a comb. So I, I, I do have the Bears winning this one because Justin Fields You don't, have, you don't have to. You can try to get at me all you want. We drafted very well. We drafted Justin Fields, and Aaron Rodgers is no longer going to be a Packer after June 1st. So right. I'm, I'm as happy as I need to be. Yeah, week week number 11, I am looking at the Ravens' schedule. That schedule here right now, I have them sitting at 9-9-2. Nine, nine and two. I'm looking at their schedule moving forward like – I have to pick some losses somewhere because I, I don't see them going fifteen and two on the season, but I just don't see them losing to the Chicago Bears. I think they're they are they are pissed off after that loss versus the uh, loss at, at, after the uh, the uh, Finns. The Bears are coming off the bye week. This is probably Justin Fields' first first game as well. So give me the Ravens in this one. No. Week number twelve, Cleveland Browns coming to town. Why? Who do you got? It's going to be a really good game. I think this is going to be a back and forth game. Um, but this will be one of the very few losses on the year for the Cleveland Brown as, as the Baltimore Ravens win the, uh, a close game at home. Uh, whoa. All righty. Go ahead. Give me the MVP Baker Mayfield over the Baltimore Ravens as they start their march towards the AFC North crown. Yeah, so this is this is one of those games that are back to back here. So so basically, they these two teams play twice in a three week span, which is absolutely ridiculous. But the Ravens have a tough stretch of games here, guys. They have four games versus the the Browns, Steelers, and Packers. They had the, so that they have to win this first gauntlet of like games here. So I I'm picking the Ravens in this one, moving to eleven and two on the season, going to week thirteen where the Ravens travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Yeah, this is uh, another big win. <clears throat> Excuse me, a, a big road win for the Baltimore Ravens. Really, kind of that signifying win that gets them into a playoff spot and gets them over the hump where they can kind of, you know, look more like a playoff team. Uh, and I think that this is a big loss for Pittsburgh, uh, one of the big staple losses on the year where they lose to yet another division opponent. <clears throat> yeah, give me the give me the Pittsburgh Steelers in this one. The the Ravens just always always play well against Pittsburgh, no matter where they're playing at. I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens over the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm taking the Pittsburgh Steelers simply because the Ravens can't win them all. Uh, so I, 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 I think this is this is one of their hiccup games. Going into week 14, the Ravens travel to Cleveland to take on the Browns. What? So last year preseason, I actually called this, okay? I called <clears throat> that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would lose to the Saints twice in the regular season and then go on to win the Super Bowl and on their track way end up beating the New Orleans Saints. Which they did not. They did. They did. Yes, they did. Why am I? What am I talking about? They did. <clears throat> this year, I am calling it. I had. I had a brain fart. I thought the Packers played the Saints for a second, but then I realized that they didn't. Anyways, on this road to the Super Bowl, the Baltimore Ravens will beat the Cleveland Browns twice, and the Cleveland Browns will go on to beat them in the playoffs, and then eventually move on to win the Super Bowl. No, I'm just kidding. They'll, they'll just have a deep playoff run. They, they will beat the Ravens. They'll, they'll lose to the Ravens twice. Stick to your word, the Wyatt. Super Bowl champs, Cleveland Browns. Yeah, I'm going I'm going with the Cleveland Browns here again. I, I think that they are going to sweep the Ravens, and that's what's going to ultimately hand them the uh, AFC North crown. And uh, so give me the Browns at home again because they are going to be so damn good this year. Yeah, and I'm taking the Browns as well because I don't think the Ravens sweep them this year. I think they split. So we've we've already picked the week fifteen matchup for the versus the Packers. If you missed that, go ahead and check out the Packers clip over at youtube.com for slash man hour. Also picked the week sixteen. I didn't, I didn't pick I didn't pick it. Well you weren't on the show that particular day. So who do you got? What the hell what? Who do you got? Packers versus Ravens. Ravens, give me Ravens. Ravens? What? Yeah. Packers. Packers. All right. So week seventeen matchup, we have the Rams versus the Ravens. Um, I will take the L.A. Rams as they are going to have a really good season next year. They're going to be a dominant force in the NFC because Stafford is finally going to have a good team around him. And the Rams are finally going to have a good quarterback to lead their team. So this is going to be a matchup made in heaven. It already is, and it's going to work really well. I'm excited to see 
how this works, uh, and I think that they beat the Ravens. Yeah, so I think that this is going to be uh, – I think the Rams are going to have such a stranglehold on the AFC West, or NFC West by this point that they're actually going to be the talk of the, the playoffs because they're going to say, why did you sit your starters for two weeks? I think that they're sitting wow. their starters in this one, and I think that the Ravens – um, pull this one out because of that fact that they're sitting their starters. And I don't think the Ravens or I kind of think the Rams will be a stranglehold on that NFC, but I, but I, I do have the Ravens as well. And like in this game, I just think they're a little bit better giving us a week 18 matchup, the final game of the season, a division rivalry game Steelers versus the Ravens. Why? Who do you got? Uh, I got the Ravens fighting for a better playoff seating in this one. Steelers, Looking for absolutely nothing. They're going to give them a decent game, uh, but I think that the Baltimore Ravens pull it out by at least 10. And Combs, what do you got? Yeah, I think that the Ravens need to win this game to have a chance at the AFC North crown. I think they need a win and a Browns loss in Week 18 in order to win the AFC North. Uh, so I do think that they pull this one out against the Steelers uh, because of that fact. So. I have the Steelers going uh, 12 and s- – and or I'm sorry, yeah. Um, the Ravens. 12 and 5 on the year. Yeah, so the Ravens have it going 12 and 5. I actually have Ravens winning the Week 18 matchup as well. I, I just think this is a, co- a complete shellacking of the Steelers. And uh, Mike and, and Mike Tomlin kind of shows his hand on his way out, way out the door after the season. I actually have them finishing 13 and 4 on the season, uh, first in the AFC North. Why? How do you have the Rams fin- – or the uh, Ravens finishing – I got him at eleven and six. Eleven and six. So second in the division. Second division. Okay. Okay. I see. Six and zero oh in division play. I might add. How can you be second in division? Six and zero oh in, in division play. Because they're eleven and six. The Browns are thirteen and four. Doesn't division? Okay. Yeah. yeah you're. 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 You're, you're, you're right. Spoil the Browns. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. So guys, we are going to take a quick little break.